Hey guys, today we are going to answer the question, how do I add positive and negative decimals? So adding decimals will follow the same rules as adding integers. Remember, if numbers have the same signs, then we will add the absolute values and keep that sign. So if they're both positive, then we will keep it positive. If they're both negative, we'll keep it negative and just add. If the numbers have different signs, then we will subtract the absolute values and we will keep the sign with the larger absolute value. So that is what we do with these signs. Now let's specifically talk about adding decimals. First, we're gonna write the decimals so that the decimal points line up vertically. And then we will add using the same rules as adding integers, so these rules up here. And then we will place the decimal point in the answer so that it lines up vertically with the decimal points in the problem. So basically we just need to line up the decimals and we will add using the same rules. So let's look at the first one. Both of these are positive. So my final answer will be positive. Now I'm going to line up these numbers vertically so that their decimal points line up. So they are both positive. I know I'm gonna have a positive final answer and I just am gonna add them together. So 23.85 plus 1.64. And now I'm just going to add these numbers together. So five plus four is nine, eight plus six is 14. I'll carry the one, one plus three plus one is five. And then I bring down the two. And then I put my decimal point, I just bring it down. So the final answer here is 25.49. Okay, let's look at number two. So this time I have different signs, so I'm going to subtract, and out of 7.12 and 9.92, this is the larger absolute value. So my final answer will be negative, since the larger absolute value is negative, and since I have different signs, I'm going to subtract the absolute values. So I'm gonna do 9.92 minus 7.12, and then the final answer I get, I will just make it negative. So two minus two is zero, nine minus one is eight, I'll bring down that decimal point, and nine minus seven is two. And then I just make it negative since the larger absolute value is negative. So the final answer here is negative 2.8. Okay, let's look at number three. I have different signs and the larger absolute value would be this positive 8.37. So my final answer is gonna be positive and I will subtract to get my answer since I have different signs. So I'm gonna do 8.37 minus five and then I'll just put the point zero zero to help me keep my place values. So seven minus zero is seven, three minus zero is three, bring down the decimal point, and eight minus five is three. And I make this answer positive since the larger absolute value is positive. So the final answer is 3.37. All right, let's look at number four. These have the same signs, so I'm going to be adding and I'm gonna be keeping the sign. So my final answer will be negative. So now I'm going to add these together. So 18.2 plus 10.8. So two plus eight is 10, I'll carry the one. Eight plus one plus zero is nine, and one plus one is two, and I'll keep or bring down the decimal point. And then I make it negative, since these were negative numbers that I was adding. So the final answer is negative 29. Okay, number five, these are both positive. So I will just keep that positive sign and I'm gonna add these together. So I'll do 45, I'm gonna put 0 0.00 to help me with the place value and then I'll add to 0.06. So six plus zero is six, zero plus zero is zero, bring down the decimal point, five plus two is seven, and bring down the four. So, and this final answer was positive since both of the numbers were positive, so the final answer is 47.06.
Okay, next one, negative 5.05 plus 0 0.88. So I have different signs here. I'll need to subtract, and then the larger absolute value is 5.05. .05. So I'm going to make my final answer negative. And now let's subtract 5.05 .05 minus 0 0.88. Okay, looks like I'm going to have some borrowing to do. Change this to a 4, make this a 10, change it to a 9, change that to a 15. Okay, and 15 minus 8 is 7. 9 minus 8 is 1, bring down the decimal, and 4 minus 0 is 4. And I make this answer negative since the larger absolute value is negative in the problem. So the final answer is negative 4.17. All right, let's look at number seven. Jim placed an online order for a new printer. The printer costs $129. 0.95 and the shipping fee was 15.00. How much did Jim pay in total for his online order? So he'll pay for the printer cost and the shipping fee. So we just need to add these together. So 129.95 plus 15. 5 plus 0 is 5. 9 plus 0 is 9. Bring down the decimal point. 9 plus 5 is 14. We will carry the 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. And bring down the 1. So the total cost of his order was $144.95. And last one, number eight, the top three U.S. movies that made the most money in 2019 were Avengers Endgame for $858.37 million, The Lion King for $543.64 million, and Frozen 2 for $450.44 million. What was the total amount of money made for these three movies? There's a big keyword there, total. They want us to find the total of these three movies, so I'm going to add them together. I'm going to add Endgame or Avengers and Lion King first, and then I will add Frozen to it. So let's do Avengers, which was 858.37, and then I will add The Lion King to it, which was 543. Point sixty four. So 7 plus 4 is 11. I'll carry the 1. 6 plus 3 is 9 plus 1 is 10. I'll carry the 1. 1 plus 8 is 9. 9 plus 3 is 12. We'll carry the 1. 1 plus 5 is 6. Plus 4 is 10. We'll carry the 1. And then 13 plus 1 is 14. So there is the total for Avengers and Lion King. Now let's add Frozen to it. So I'm going to add 450.44. And 1 plus 4 is 5. 0 plus 4 is 4. Bring down the decimal. 2 plus 0 is 2. 0 plus 5 is 5. 4 plus 4 is 8. And then we'll bring down the 1. So the total for the three movies, remember this was in millions. So it's 1,852.45 million. Or if we want to write it in billions, we just move the decimal over three places. So you could also say it was 1.8524.5 billion.